What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am Shelby Knave and today we're watching another movie! Surprise! Sorry, I've had a lot of coffee this morning. <laughs> yes, we are going to be watching Apocalypto today. Ever since I watched Hacksaw Ridge, I've been just very intrigued to watch more Mel Gibson directed movies. <laughs> and a lot of people in the comments section of my Hacksaw Ridge video were suggesting Apocalypto. So that is what we are going to be tackling today. Yeah, I'm not too knowledgeable in like the history of the Mayans. I know that they were a very important civilization of their time. So I feel a little more blind going into this. Ooh, we're in the jungle. Okay. Da! I feel like Mel Gibson likes throwing in his little jump scares. Oh, uh, hunting. And then this movie was gonna start out on a massacre. Wait, are you like divvying up all the organs? Oh, uh, why? Why? Ew. What? Ew. Watching. <laughs> oh my god, that's so mean! <laughs> what? What? Basha <gasps> got. Wow. Oh my gosh, there's, there's, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> Jaguar paw. Why does this moment seem so tense? Let's just peacefully pass through. Holy crap, there's a bazillion! Yikes, well if they're getting kicked out of their lands, these people might be in trouble eventually. I imagine if they do it to one tribe, they would do it to another. Was that a monkey who made that noise? Sounded like a dinosaur. Yeah, they just got kicked out of their homeland. Fear is like a normal human emotion and reaction, though. Now, for real, she needs a chill. Oh my gosh, you're just gonna sit out there and listen? Ew! Ew! Get the f*** out! I wanted- yeah, no! That's incredibly awkward. Is this his kid? <laughs> Baby on the way? Oh, wow. That is some movement. I've never had a baby before, but I imagine I will one day, and that is gonna freak me out. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. Okay. Why are you dreaming such freaky things? Mmm. Well, this doesn't look good. Yee. <laughs> Are they trying to capture people or kill everybody? Run away, run away! Why can't you just run into the forest? It's a world to clear, look. Come on, bring out your mom instincts! Moms can be some of those fearless beings on Earth. Just 
friggin' trucked him. What the freak? He was so close. Oh, what about his wife and kid? Oh, that's freaking lucky. All right, throw your tantrum. <laughs> oh no, you shouldn't have said anything. You shouldn't have said anything. Oh no. Masaka. Oh my god. Wow, so his dad truly was just fearless until the end. I pushed the left so Mom, you better be hiding. Yes. <laughs> Great. Now they have no rope. So they're gonna be stuck down there. Corners! Sad day. Yeah, the rope, no! Well, at least you know she, she's down there tugging on the rope. She's alive. They're just leaving all the kids behind. Yeah, now what? This is about worst case scenario for her. Stuck in a hole, no food, no water, and you're pregnant. Mom. Oh no. And little kid is hurt. What was his name? Turtle something? Oh no, it's that guy. Not only the guy from the beginning, but also he dreamed about him. A premonition? Is he magical? Is he psychic? Oh no. Oh no. He's struggling. Lick <laughs> oh. Oh my god! Don't mess with his wound. This guy's such a dick. God. That's some freaking strength right there. Oh my god. He's already struggling. Now you're gonna make him go in the water with this heavy current crossing that and you can't use your arms and... Oh, this poor man. Well, I mean, poor all of them, but... Oh, and the kids can't cross. She's only like seven. That's so sad. Honestly, though, honest, honestly, honestly, how is like a bunch of little kids gonna survive in the jungle by themselves with nobody to protect them, nobody to get them food or anything, especially if they were are relying on hunting, which is kind of weird. I thought that people of this time period would be relying on ah crops. Ow. These are some old fashioned. Stitches. Ew. Hewala. Strong little man. I hate it. Wow, he did that very well. Oh no. Ah! Oh no, his friend is gonna drag him off a cliff. Can anybody help to give him a little bit of assistance? He can like get no traction. One guy is completely off his feet. What do you mean? Oh. Man, these guys are freaking strong, but come on. Why does he enjoy seeing people suffer so much? I love it. And you got weak hands. What the hell? Oh. Can this guy please, like, be eliminated? It even seems like the, the, the leader guy isn't cool with his antics. Threw him off the ledge. He needs to be put in his place. Are you gonna kill him? I think that would make everybody else's day better. Oh. Um, but she, she's just a little girl. Bro! Oh wow, she came back from that fine. She just went from like an innocent little girl to something kind of scary looking. Huh? That's creepy. They will be like... Wow, she was like a speaker of a prophecy. Just <laughs> head to toe, covered in whatever that white dust is. Oh, 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 oh! No touchy, no touchy, what's going on? What's with the blue paint? 
<gasps> Are they sacrifices? Did they just send the heads tumbling down the pyramid? There's no better way to dispose of the body. So freaking disturbing. But why? <gasps> they just put blood from a severed head on their baby's forehead. Wow. What a horrifying freaking feeling to just be marching up this pyramid to be sacrificed. Are they gonna sacrifice all of them? Is this just a continuous cycle? How many sacrifices do they make in a day? What are you doing this for? Well, it's probably for their gods, actually. They seem quite religious. Oh, is this the executioner who's just covered in freaking blood? Gross. <laughs> You think he's willing? He doesn't look willing. Satan. Uh. Oh my god. Ah. Ah, they took his heart out. Ew. Oh no. Terrifying. Terrifying. How can these people just sit and watch this all day? You're watching all these people getting killed. Ah! Oh my god. How long can you be alive without your heart and your body? I imagine not long, maybe like a few seconds. See, she seems like she doesn't want to be watching this. Girl, I'm with you. Ah! He's next? Oh, he just seems so dazed and out of it. Yeah, it's not time to go. Is he gonna survive a stab wound? They're gonna take his heart and he's still gonna live? Is he a zombie? What? What? Eclipse? Oh, and the day becomes night? Or ha like night in the day, dark in the day? So what, what did that little girl say? That would be freaking strange. In this time in civilization, an eclipse would probably be such a weird phenomenon. <laughs> and yeah, they pretty much only have like religion and the gods to, to refer to. <laughs> Talk about exquisite timing. <laughs> He's like, that worked. Wow, so they had an eclipse at just the right moment that saved him from being sacrificed. That's insane. Could be a higher power, could be an absurd amount of luck. Wow. Yeah, no, I thought he was a goner for sure. Yeah, what of these captives? Why can't... <laughs> These are all like young, able bodied men. Can't they just work or whatever? This is a city, there's a whole bunch of people working. Why do you need to kill them? What are we doing now? A finisher? Oh, there's some sort of freaking catch to this. They're not just gonna let him go. Oh no, are they gonna shoot arrows at them? Zigzag! Zigzag! Boys, you gotta zigzag! Don't run straight! Zigzag! Oh no, only a spear. Come on! To be honest, since he was treated so badly in the beginning, I thought that he would perhaps make it to the end. Oh, the finisher. Get it now. Oh, and that guy. Yes! Zigzag! Thank you, Jaguar Paul. Much harder for an arrow to hit you if you're not in a straight line. his freaking face. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Broke off the arrowhead. <gasps> ooh, ooh. <gasps> God damn, that would hurt so freaking bad. <laughs>
Yikes. Oh, but now he's out for vengeance. And Jaguar Paw is injured, but he does have a head start. A like substantial head start. <laughs> and probably smell so freaking bad. Oh, wow. Hello, tree climber. He needs to, like, find some water to jump in and wash off that blue. It kind of stands out. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're gonna run under him. Just run under him. Really? Well, at least he didn't notice that there was a droplet that fell on him. I thought that he was gonna bleed on a guy and the guys were gonna look up and be like, there he is! Oh, a baby! Oh, I guess mom is nearby. Oh no! I guess this is a bad part about hanging out in the trees and the jungle. <laughs> I didn't think they would figure it out that quickly. Great, so now he has two problems to worry about. These guys hunting him, and the big cat that's also hunting him. But so is a big kitty! <laughs> you popped out at the wrong time, boy! No, don't stab it! I guess how else would you get it to stop attacking? Has he been running all day into the night? The human body can only do so much when it's in a state of exhaustion. Granted, he probably has a lot of adrenaline, but still. Wow, and they're still on his tail? They just won't freaking go away? Get back in the tree. Hide in the tree. It's nighttime. It'll be much easier to hide. Running with fire in the jungle. That seems like a disaster waiting to happen. Oh no. Yeah, you gotta get that blue paint off you. Oh, holy sh- Yep, the omen is bad. And they're just gonna leave him behind. Ah. <laughs> oh god! Ow! Did they actually catch up with him? He's been running non-stop. Wow, this camera work. As it's like we're running in the forest too. Oh, holy fudge sickles, Batman. This is just not good. <laughs> I mean, you survived everything else so far. Just take a leap of faith. You might survive. As long as there's no rocks at the bottom, you should be good. like a jaguar right now. <gasps> you just took out your own guy like that? What the frick? Oh boy, you're all gonna jump. I bet you guys jump on rocks. Oh no, he's going head first. <laughs> the very least, go feet first and break your legs. Don't break your head. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Is that quicksand? Quick, quick mud? That's horrifying. Is he gonna drown in the quick mud? Is it actually quicksand, but just muddy? I'm gonna keep calling it the quick mud. He can't go out like this. After everything he's been through, he cannot die from quick mud. Oh god. Hey, you're gonna be concealed so much better now. He literally looks like a shadow. Your destiny! Huh? Oh my gosh, is that like a bee's nest? Hornet nest? That thing is huge! What the frick? That thing is massive! <laughs> he says, you try this out first. A frog? Oh. 
Or is it a, it's a poisonous frog, isn't it? Poisonous frog, he's getting the venom on it. Will the frog live, that, live after that? After being stabbed with sticks? Is that frog gonna die? He leaped away. A storm is coming? Oh no. I don't like the idea of you pregnant mom climbing a wall. I can't blame her because it's like, I would be trying to get out too, but at the same- Oh no! Are you okay? Oh no. I don't like that face. I don't like that face. Yeah, Jaguar Paw, you need to take these dudes out and then get back to your wife. That's some skill right there. I hit you with my poison frog rods. Tense. Yeah, ultimate showdown now. Oh, oh god. Could have been worse, I guess we still got him in the head. Jeez. God. Deserved it. Oh my god. You, you, you! Ah! Oh, oh, I didn't need to see that. I did not, I didn't need to see that. Holy crap. Ew, ew. That was brutal. I'm sure the revenge for him feels, feels really good. That I just, I didn't need to see the, the head, the blood head spew. I didn't need that. You miss. You stop Bro, that's a lot of rain. Ooh, looks like cold rain. The hole's gonna flood. Can y'all swim? No, you are not about to give birth right now. Could there be a worse time to give birth than right now? When you're not only stuck in a hole, but you're stuck in a flooding hole. He made it back! He made it back to them! Get rid of these mother effers and help your delivering wife. No! I think that's in his heart, too. Oh, are you gonna die after all of this? Come so freaking far. <laughs> nice callback to the beginning. Man, they just don't stop. This is like a lot of rain. You're telling me it's so much rain that it's instantly filling this hole? Oh my gosh, I cannot imagine having a baby right now. Uh-uh, no. Oh my God. Water birth, I guess. How was water births before water births were a thing? I cannot believe this guy is still on his feet. <laughs> Europeans! Oh no, they're coming to colonize. This is birthing a whole new problem. <laughs> so now they're more interested in these guys than him. All right, make your great escape. Surprise, baby! <laughs> you have another son! She just birthed in a flooding hole. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> no, probably not. The forest is yours. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, is that the end? Wow. That was a cool movie. And I get it, this is just like an incredibly different movie than I am used to seeing. I feel like we don't have too, too many movies that come out of this particular era of history, like the Mayans and stuff like that, at least that I, I know of off the top of my head. And I've thoroughly enjoyed watching this.
But I'm gonna go ahead and throw it to me in the future, who will probably have some final thoughts. Hi, welcome back for final thoughts. Excuse me being all dolled up, I'm gonna be shooting another movie commentary when I'm done with this. So, let's just get into it. And the first thing I just wanna say, guys, is this is such an underrated film. There's a pretty insane level of detail and authenticity brought to this film, particularly in like the costuming, the hair and makeup, and the production design. I watched a documentary talking about the making of this movie, and one of the most like surprising things that I saw is that they actually like pretty much rebuilt and recreated like the pyramids in that like marketplace scene where the sacrifices happened. Like talk about building a ginormous set. <laughs> Not to mention during that scene as well, they had 700 extras. Can we just imagine for a second being in the wardrobe or the hair and makeup department for this film and having to do that much makeup and costuming and I'm talking like tattoos, piercings, markings, all of that on 700 people. That's insane but it was also very necessary because I think the fact that they did end up doing that and did such elaborate like costuming <laughs> that really helped make the film and what we were watching a lot more authentic and this film definitely utilizes a lot of like close-up shots so I guess it was kind of important for them to make each person kind of different in their own way but even just like for the normal actors that are in the movie and on screen the majority of the time that's like a lot of work to do on people every single day very extensive but it looked awesome I just can't even imagine though the days of shooting during the like sacrifice scenes or whatever when there is so many people there and so many moving parts that had to be extremely challenging for the filmmakers but worth it obviously in the end I think that the scene looks really awesome but that's not the only things that I found to be very visually appealing and interesting in this film I loved pretty much all of the shots having to do with the jungle there is so much camera movement and like literal running throughout the jungle, which is super cool to see because I mean, obviously I haven't been to too many jungles in my day, but it also really like heightened the thrill and like the suspense aspects of the film. It was just some very unique and like visually stunning shots. I mean, there's really no slow moments in this film. We are with Jaguar Paw getting dragged along from one problem to the next, from one scary situation to the next. And it's just really satisfying at the end to see see him persevere and protect his family and his forest. Obviously this movie is very brutal and gory, which was a bit hard for me to watch at times, not gonna lie. However, I'm not mad about it because I think it did actually add to the authenticity of the film yet again. You know, the Mayans were known for being a very sophisticated yet brutal civilization. Watching this movie really does kind of open your eyes to the brutality that humans can have and did have towards each other and that was just kind of normal. I think that's honestly partially what makes this film so unique just because this is a time that is so different than our time and current day or what we're used to seeing. Like as much as it freaked me out while I was watching it the first time, I do think that the like sacrifice scenes and the scenes that took place in like the Mayan city or whatever were my favorite in the film. Not because I enjoy seeing people get butchered or anything like that, but mainly just because it is such a like gut-wrenching scene to watch. <laughs> you know, we're thrown into this culture that we're not used to. We don't really know what's going on at first, but as we're like putting the pieces together, we suddenly become terrified for these characters. Plus the eclipse thing and the whole like omen or like destiny aspects of this film, I also thought was just really good. <laughs> Fear and like prophecy or omens I guess are probably the biggest themes throughout this movie. Obviously with fear, Jaguar Paw's dad, I think his name is Flint Sky, you know he had no fear and he was very adamant to Jaguar Paw of just like to not let fear consume you. And then Jaguar Paw himself used his fear to kind of overcome everything that he had to go through. You know we see him conquer his fear by facing it head on. But then we have the theme of like prophecy and omens. I would say that the biggest example of this would be the sick little girl that was like saying all these freaky things But then it turned out that everything she said actually came true You know the day would become night a man would run with the jaguar and he would rise from the earth and mud I mean she predicted everything that jaguar did and also told them to like beware of this man because he'll like You know kill you I guess which he did it's just such a fascinating and thrilling story with a super high attention to detail 
style. And it just shows yet again that Mel Gibson has some serious talent in directing pictures like this one. And that's all I really have to say about that. I don't really have anything negative to point out on this one. I thought that the story was well crafted and looked awesome. So gonna go ahead and throw it to my past self to finish out this video. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and watching Apocalypto alongside me. Definitely leave me your thoughts and opinions below. Did you like this movie? What did you like? What did you not like? If you'd like to hang out with me in between uploads, check the description bar. I listed all my social media there. You can go give me a follow if you want. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you the next time I upload a new video. Thank mm -hmm. you.